What's going on everyone? Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with another episode of Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town on Nintendo Switch. This is episode 4, I believe, or maybe even episode 5. Last episode, we uh, kind of traveled around town, checked out the library, checked out the museum. We, we did a lot of stuff. If you haven't seen that episode, please go check it out. But today, we are going to hop into the next episode. We're going to head to Town Hall and see who we meet there. And we're going to meet someone pretty interesting. So, glad to have you along for the ride, and let's get going. Their barrels filled with water. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. I'm sorry, do, do we know each other? It's been a while, hasn't it, Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve? There was only one child that called me that. It can't be. Willie, is that really you? Yes, Steve, it's really me, Willie Morgan. Son, how are you? Sorry if I don't get up, but my back is killing me. Sitting All good, Steve. Thank you. Tell me, what brought you back to Bone Town? It's been years since the last time I saw you. I've been missing Bone Town. I can hardly believe it. Lately, nobody ever comes back to Bone Town. For the anniversary of my dad's disappearance, it's been ten years. I was thinking of swinging by the cemetery. Already ten years? Time seems to have stopped in Bone Town since then. I sent refuge in my job to forget. I don't see your mother. Does she know you're here? I told her I was leaving. She's away on a business trip. How is she? I tried many times to contact you in recent years, but she never answered. It was very tough for her, too. She preferred to make a clean break from the past, concentrating on me and her job. Bone Town is a memory that still hurts a lot. I understand. Do you remember what happened to my father? It's always painful for me to talk about Henry. We grew up almost like brothers, before he decided to leave and become one of the most famous archaeologists in the world. But despite his work, he always found the time to come back here to the family and to meet his old friends. Unfortunately, his disappearance is still shrouded in mystery. The night before that fateful day, we went out together. We said goodbye in front of the old inn, where he was staying. The next morning, I stopped by to say hello, but there was no trace of him. His room was intact. The innkeeper said he didn't see him going out. That's all I know. Since then, I've been racking my brain to understand what happened, but Henry seems to have vanished into thin air. Just like Mom always tells me. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. Better ask for permission. I'd risk looking like a thief. Can I borrow a stamp? Of course, as long as you use it responsibly. Even if they're dated back, they're the official stamps of Bone Town. Thanks, I'll use them well. Actually, when you're finished with your stuff, you can help me out with that stamp. I have a lot of paperwork to authenticate. Gladly. Do you, by any chance, know what Dad was working on? I wouldn't know. Whenever he'd come to Bone Town, he told us fantastic stories of the places he explored. We felt like we were there with him. Dad was always an exceptional narrator. When he told me a story before bed, I couldn't sleep right away, but instead spent a good part of the night fantasizing. He used to do the same thing with us here in Bone Town. Everyone was enthralled by it. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. I might need one. I'll take the more worn one.
Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. I just have to find the final ingredients. What are you working on exactly? It's a recipe of my own concoction for a new non-alcoholic drink. As soon as I find all the ingredients, I'll patent it. I've written everything I need on this piece of paper I found in the back room. There's still some ingredients missing to complete the recipe. Then I'm sure my life will take a turn, and I could say goodbye to Bowtown. Can I have some candies? Unfortunately, I have to say no. The ones you see in the shop are needed to complete the recipe I'm working on, as well as for my livelihood. I noticed. If you have some pocket change, there's a candy vending machine right outside the shop. You can take as much as you want. It's only five cents for a candy. Thanks a lot. What's that piece of paper? I honestly don't know. I was going through the back room when the new recipe suddenly hit me. I grabbed the first piece of paper I came across to write down the ingredients. Can I see it? I'd rather you not. Our sector is very competitive. If I let you read the ingredients, you could steal my recipe. I can give it to you after the recipe is completed, when I'll be sure nobody will copy my work. Okay. Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, oh, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's, it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. What would I get in return? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Tremendously epic. All right. Very well. Help yourself to the container in the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. Goodbye. See you soon. When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle as you can. I'll do my best. I better be going now. The owner was clearly in a great hurry to leave. It only works with five cent coins. It only works with... Hi! Hello! Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice. And it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele, a bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice, and it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. 
and I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the entire. Well, if that is your philosophy. I know. Goodbye. See you soon. I'm not thirsty. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. What could I do with a cart with a couple of wheels missing? I'll think about it later. Maybe I could mount it on my next bicycle. Let's see if there's anyone here. Here, horsey. It doesn't seem to be very cooperative. Maybe it needs some extra incentive. They could always come in handy. I don't know how, but it could be useful. Better take them with me. You never know. The engraving says J. Roger. Let's try to see if there's something that might be useful to my research. Oops, I better put everything back as it was. Sorry, my mistake. Careful, boy. I don't like to repeat myself, so I'll tell you only once. It's not wise taking something without permission in a shop that sells weapons. Thanks for the advice. This alarm is a problem. I have to find a way to avoid activating it. Good morning. Good morning to you, young man. Are you interested in something? I need weapons. Many weapons. No problem. Here you can find as many as you want. And if you don't see something around, I can order it for you. But I need your ID and your carry permit. I'll be back with the documents. Many documents. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Excuse me. Uh, all these weapons are messing with my mind. How long has this shop been running? Basically ever since Bone Town existed. In every town there is a shop selling weapons. And Rogers is the ultimate shop in the city. We have weapons from all countries and all ages. Our centerpiece is that gun on display over there. It dates all the way back to the early 1700s. My grandpa found it hidden in his attic. It's in a perfect state of preservation. I'd only like to take a look, thanks. Goodbye. Good Sorry, can I take these scissors? It seems to me it's the only thing suitable for you in this shop. Round edges for greater security. Go ahead and take them. And don't forget to advertise Roger's Weapon Shop. Um, thank you.
It's not the right moment to think about buying an instrument. Besides, after spending my last savings at Dead Man Inn, I'm broke. Hello. Hello, dude. Peace be with you. May I help you somehow? I like the selection of instruments in this shop. Thanks, dude. It took years to stock up so much choice, to test every single instrument to make it harmoniously perfect. <laughs> As in an orchestra where everything must be perfect? No, dude. No. I I'm talking about harmony, with a capital H. Each instrument has a sound that connects your inner self with the motion of the universe, making you a part of the whole. And did you find the formula for this harmony? Dude, for more than 50 years, I've experienced things that link me with the harmony of the universe. But the path is still long, and there's still a lot to try. <laughs> That's not hard to believe. I'd be curious to know what kind of experiments you conducted. Better not ask certain things, dude. In this case, I agree. Is smoking allowed in this shop? Dude, who do you take me for? I can never go against the law and cause harm. <laughs> it looks like you're smoking. No, dude, this is the new frontier. Electronic cigarettes. I see. Aromatized flavor? Uh, yeah, you could say that. An aroma that expands your mind to connect you with the whole. I'm content. I don't want to investigate further. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish you peace and love. A tuning fork can always come in handy. Excuse me, can I take that tuning fork? Sure. It's available to customers to find harmony. Thanks. Hey, there are other musical instruments here too, but these seem to be more ancient. Hmm, it looks like a mechanical piano. I can't play it. To make it work, a musical role would be necessary. I never saw one so old though. There's an engraving, Walter Fly, 1712. Hmm, it looks like a, to make it work, a musical, I never saw one, there's an engraving. Hmm, it looks to make it, I never, there's an engraving. Usually there's a metallic stick to make it play, but I can't see that here. I need something else to make it vibrate. It's a bow, but it's so old that the hair is worn out. I'll take it with me. If I can find a way to replace the hair, I can use the cello. Let's try and hope it still works. There's a super promotion. With a single shot, you'll see yourself in your current form, in the guise of a pirate, and, brand new option, in the guise of a drunk pirate. All offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. The things you do to attract customers. Woo! I'd better go out and recover the posters. I'm curious to admire the different versions of myself. Great! 
three posters of me. It could be a good idea. Now it seems that the wanted man is Tom Rayleigh. The resemblance to me is remarkable. It could be a good idea. Now I have a nice pair of cardboard eyes. My arms are not long enough. Maybe now they will come in handy. Got it. It's not a chimney. It looks more like a roll with a series of engravings on it. I don't think I still need these bulky tongs. I can't take anything until the seagull goes away. I think this is the best possible way to use these matches. Once, you used a certain kind of oil to light a fire. From the condition of the lighthouse, I'd say it's very likely there's still some left. I'm not risking burning anything, and I'm isolated from other houses. Great, but it's better to close the opening, or I'll risk that flame burning out. Good job! I don't know how to make it work. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I wouldn't know what to do with it. A few pumice stone pebbles could come in handy. They're light but resistant. 